Oh, but Bilal an was black, obviously. Oh my god, this is the one. This is kind of mad still. <laughs> it's such a cliche, you know, like, but Bilal was black. <laughs> I really said it. But Bilal was black. <laughs> but Bilal was black. You're moving shameless. I feel like I've said that at one point in my life. That's you a problem. Like yeah. I, yeah, he was black. <laughs> okay, yep. I've heard this so many times, it's like everyone's biggest argument to why Muslims cannot be racist. I can't stand it, it actually hurts my soul when I, <laughs> when I hear that. So for example, it would be like, oh, there's a lot of Islam, there's a lot of racism in Islam. Okay, for example, then your non-black um, friend or non-black you know, leader in the masjid will say, yeah, no, 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 sister, don't worry about it. We don't talk about those things. Um, you know, Bilal, peace and blessings be upon him, he was a black man. And then they stop there. Do you know who says this? It's people trying to rebuke anything you've said on your experience as a black Muslim or Muslim. Yeah, it's like, you can't say anything, but I was like, okay, next, who else? Exactly. Who else? Anytime people talk about black Muslim issues, anytime people talk about black Muslims, all they mention is Bilal or Mansa Musa, if you're lucky, Mansa Musa, but it's always Bilal and Malcolm X. Those are the only two black Muslims people know. Of course Bilal was black, so was Um Ayman, so was Zayd bin Hadd. Come on, like generally, you please do not make my Islam reduced to one man and your race to be absolved because you know that Bilal radiallahu anhu was black. And what? Bilal radiallahu anhu was kind of like the most, pro one of the most prominent black people in Islamic history. So maybe that's why. African, yeah. yeah, at the prophet's time. Yeah, so I can see why mm -hmm. they use it, but it's also like sometimes it's just not relevant yeah. to the situation at hand. Like, I'm feeling guilty. <laughs> so I'll be like, oh, you know, we're pushing you to the back or something. But Bilal was back, so we can't be racist. I think a lot of the Sahabas, if we were to see them now through our gaze of how we perceive race, we would describe a lot of them as black. First of all, you know, this idea that like Arabness is this kind of like very fair, uh, like almost like a whiteness is, is actually like a current, a contemporary construct. It wasn't always like that, um, first of all. So this idea that like, you know, that Bilal was like the only black Sahaba is completely like, just, a, it's like a misinterpretation. Learn about the people of your past, people that you actually owe incredible amounts to and ensure that you don't say this to black brothers and sisters because I might be nice about it, but I don't know if a sister told the shoe in, it's not my fault. And also Bilal was mixed, his mother was black and his father was Arab, so that, again, it's like, not trying to be dread, but like, get your facts right, do you get what I'm saying? When we're talking about Sahabi, like, these are the people that love Sayyidina Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam, and so by loving them, we're loving him. So it's important that we know who they are, like, it's important that we know their story, who was his mother, how did he end up as a slave, like, where did he come from, right? So I think, mashallah, we love Bilal, and he's, mashallah, he's an icon, but, you know, I think it's just bigger than that. Beyond Bilal, there are billions, or maybe thousands, billions, millions of black Muslims today. So let's talk about what's happening right now. And currently, a lot of black Muslims don't feel welcomed into, into the community. Currently now, a lot of black Muslims find it very difficult to integrate into the community, whether they were born Muslim or not born Muslim. Um, and that's not being addressed. So hopefully, alhamdulillah, through this movement, we can address it. But the statement to come back with by saying, but Bilal was black is like saying, oh, you're racist. And then someone's saying, no, but my, you know, my dog's carer is black. So I have a whole lecture series called Beyond Bilal. So you lot book me in your unis, book me in your institutions, book me everywhere, and I'll come and tell you about the history of Islam in Africa beyond Bilal. Yes, I guess so. He was black, wasn't he? So what does that mean though? <laughs>